Aloha babes, it's Jay. I hope you guys are having one fantabulous day. Please excuse my schmettiness. I just finished at the gym and I was on the Stairmaster and I had a small kind of epiphany and it was placed upon my heart to talk about this. So you guys already know I'm gonna talk about it because that's what Jay does. I share a lot about my personal life here on my social media platforms. I've done that since the very beginning, since 2017. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> I like to consider myself an open book and try to be as transparent and real as possible because I know for many of us on social media, we like to show our highlight reels and I like to show my not so highlighted reels in hopes that somewhere someone out there will see my life and realize that they're not alone in their own struggles and challenges. And you know, I share a lot about my motherhood, about my marriages, my divorces, single parenthood, owning a business, self-love, self-care, product reviews, you know, getting healthy, mental health, and everything in between. And like I said, this was placed upon my heart and I need to talk about it. And it's about my mental health and how I can genuinely say with my whole heart that I have never been in a better mental health state that I am now in my entire life. Ironically, this being of how I am right now came from the lowest low that I've ever experienced in my entire life. Uh, last year, August 9, 2021, Brada C and I lost our daughter, Heaven. She unfortunately passed away. And uh, literally the day after I came out of the hospital, I, wait, I went straight into mommy mode. I kid you not, it was a school day. Instead of me, um, you know, becoming a hermit crab and hiding in our room and just shutting the world away, I got up early. I remember getting up early, getting my kids' school bags ready, their lunch bags ready, getting them breakfast ready, getting them ready and being there for them as if nothing had happened and that they knew that mommy was still here and I was showing up for them. And in that moment, babes, I realized that my daughter, Heaven, gave me this strength, this whole new level of strength that I never knew existed within Knowing that I showed up for our children, literally days after we lost our daughter, showed me that I, again, was a lot stronger than I thought I if was. If I could show up for the people that I love, then I should be able to show up for myself. Yes, I'm gonna grieve my daughter. Yes, I'm gonna be sad. Yes, I'm gonna ask the questions of why, and it's gonna take time for me to heal, but my children still need me. I need me and I need to be in the best mental health state that I've ever been in my entire life to move forward. And so I asked for help. I sought help. And I know for a lot of you out there, you might think that asking for help is a sign of weakness. And I beg to differ, babes. I think that when you ask for help, especially when it comes to your mental health, that's a whole new level of strength. That's showing that you're human. I reached out to my PCPs. I sought therapy. I got on a regimen that was going to put me on the right track to get to a good place mentally. Losing my daughter was the catapult. She was the biggest stepping stone. And like thinking about that, I feel like my daughter sacrificed her being in order for mommy to be the mommy that she needs to be for her siblings. Don't get me wrong, babes. I think about my daughter, Heaven, every single day. I miss and her. I probably will be like that for the rest of my life. But knowing that my mental health is where it is now, I can be at peace. <sighs> That's what it feels like. It's just like a release. I've released these chains of the mental health struggle that I've gone through my entire life. And I have my daughter heaven to thank for that. Because of her, I can show up for her siblings, for Kira, for Jace, for Raiden, for Orion, for Luna, for Ocean. And I can be the best mom I can be for them. So I will always be forever grateful to my daughter. 